in a moment of uh, absolute supermental confession fused with true occult understanding Sphinx replies without hesitation no. forgive me my grandmaster in the mystic away of Allah Omer has chosen me uh, to deliver his amber tulum to you for so your safekeeping until your death. Come, my son, come before me, my innocent young child, Sphinx. You have fulfilled the prophecy of Balkistan. So undress yourself before me. Without the slightest hesitation, Sphinx unwinds his turban. Chunks of hashish fall out of there. Okay. Um, and off comes the caftan. Uh, mm -hmm. That's it. And, um, and the Egyptian truth seeker is a beautiful sight. Handsome. Curly, shoulder-length black hair. Whoa. Fit, fit tanned, uh, muscular, and delicate feet, hands. Uh. Sphinx stands naked before the universe. Mystica rises and approaches the ninth century trunk from Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia, Genghis Khan. Yeah, studded rubies, arrows, sapphires. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, and just just leaving. Divine the hook and the trunk. That's it in this 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 place. And uh, Mutafa removes too. Immaculate, old-fashioned Mongolian dresses. Nearly opening. Top of the head, bottom of the ankle. Yeah, this much is like a grilled cloth square. It's not even an open. <laughs> You're still looking through bars of fabric. You know, well, the luxurious linen, yeah, from Ulaanbaatar. Uh, most delicate Egyptian has ever seen or felt. Um, most of all, it's fakes. Through the door and through his mm, favorite uh, garden, bubbling stream. Huh? He is a magician. This is pretty dry up by the dogfight, but here, mm, uh, yeah. Into the adjacent hut. It's circular, but and domed, beautiful circular dome over a circular. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mazuva bolts the door behind him. You know, well, they're the only ones in that's going in, huh? Uh, and uh, well, outside, amongst the agents, eight palms, there's Jamshi, Balram, and Mahmoud. Yeah, uh, chilling out, huh? In the shade. Mm -hmm. Old gross palms. <laughs> yeah. Good place for a date. Uh, well, I was waiting. waiting okay, it's a sm smoking occasional chillum. Uh, well, inside the dome, what's it look like in there? Uh, well, there's there's a. Uh, uh, a horizontal stack. The stems are you know this way, and it's it's about chest high. Yeah, the stalks are ten feet, eight ten feet healthy. 
and uh, dry, ready to, um, you know, harvest into pollen. Are well, you emerald trog triangle growers in, in California? Circle your calendar. Oh. Um, you know, this is beyond social conventions moments. He, he grabs Sphinx by his beard and like, get over here, bitch. Um, I'm going to whisper to you the penultimate secret. Loosen up. For centuries, our enemies. Yeah, we led them to believe that the secret to not mold, not mildew, not, not smell like the baby pissed on it, that, you don't want that was in the method of the pressing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, wrong. <laughs> yeah, oh, so wrong. Huh? They, they took the beta. Huh? Oh, Jesus. And But the true uh, secret is in the method of removing the marijuana from the stalk. Uh, to obtain the finest pollen dust in the world, yet without harming the intoxicating <laughs> um, molecules of the marijuana. Don't harm them. Dust them like fine grade, but don't go too far-ish. And uh, the finest dust, capable of being pressed, not, not just by hand this time, just every village has got one, almost every house, if they have over seven people in town, uh, into blocks. <laughs> Put that in mule, mule saddlebags, blocks. Never mold, never mildew through the longest winters on the Mongolian steppes. There's something suspicious about Mongolia in through threading through here. Genghis Khan, the Forbidden City, Tantric Sachs, the first post office system. <laughs> yeah, they wiped out the assassins, huh? Assassins thought they had it, they had it going on, huh? But when the Mughals came down from the north through those passes, the Albert Mountain, Suleiman Mountain, translated means the Mountain of Solomon. <laughs> Inshallah.